Chapter 14 of Axodus. The Pharaoh changed his mind again, the story tells us, after the three or six million walked off with all the silver and gold and clothes with the blood of every family in Egypt on their hands, the Pharaoh wants one last go at them. Verse 7, he took 600 of his picked chariots and the rest of the chariots of Egypt with officers and all of them. So, how many is that? 1,000? 2,000 chariots? Let's just say 500 men. Say 10,000, if you want, against 600,000 soldiers and the rest of them. Verse 11, And they said to Moses, Was it for want of graves in Egypt that you brought us to die in the wilderness? Whining little bitches. Now the parting of the Sea of Reeds, otherwise known as the Red Sea, mistakenly, Moses holds out his rod and the millions walk across. So a hundred kilometers radius, perhaps, of humans and animals? Are we to believe this, Mother? The Sea of Reeds is not so deep. They could walk through it. But the horses and chariots would get stuck and lose their advantage. A few million people would quickly have them ripped apart. They might, that might be possible, if you need the story to be true. It isn't. Seas are not parted with sorcery. The Egyptian soldiers were simply slaughtered by the Lord's army. Verse 31, And when Israel saw the wondrous power which the Lord had wielded against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord. They had faith in the Lord and his servant Moses. Your narrator finds it frightening that there are those who continue to try to fit this story into our physical reality. Rise up and expel your dictators and religious leaders. They sell you lies. Or a fairy tale, which is the same thing. If you say the fairy tale is true, then you are selling a lie. Lying pricks. Okay, now this is silly. So you got maybe 10,000 men at most charging a horde of six million people, uh, their chances are fairly slim. Even if it was true, which it isn't. 